the importance of a decentralized cooperation policy. In this lecture, we learn how to craft an effective policy for our local and regional governments that's linked to the SDGs. Before we do this, however, let's take a minute to remind ourselves of the importance of policy. You know, there can be no doubt that having a policy framework to guide decentralized cooperation is really a key tool for local and regional governments and it can be a driver for SDG implementation. A DC policy can holistically define goals and visions, allocate resources, and outline the processes necessary for achieving defined objectives. Simultaneously, too, it can ensure that actions align with national SDG strategies. Co-creating an integrated DC policy also increases buy-in from important stakeholders, and it also articulates each stakeholder's role in making DC and its impacts a lasting reality. Finally, a DC policy can outline the ME frameworks in order for LRGs to measure how they're progressing in order to achieve their objectives. Okay, so let's turn our attention now to the six steps to achieve such a policy. Step one, the preamble. This introductory section does three key things. It tells the reader why LRGs are indeed international actors. It briefly reminds us of the local and the global relationships. And thirdly, it explains in a nutshell what decentralized cooperation policy is all about. Step two, the purpose. I think this is a really important section because it explains exactly why you've taken the time out to draft policy for decentralized cooperation and why it should be linked to the SDGs. Here, it's important to remind the reader of the transformative opportunity of the SDGs in the territories that we explored in Chapter 2 and the Municipal Movement Global Task Force that calls for leaving no one and leaving no place behind. In this section, it's important to outline the goals and the objectives of the policy. Step 3. The Problem Statement Now, in this section, the background to the need for this policy must be summarized clearly, concisely, and as transparently as possible. Here, you can cover whatever you think best explains the problem. The problem can be in your territory or in the territory of the partner. The interest and the need for capacity are legitimate, and the shortfall in certain aspects of service provision or the urgent need for specific groups or agendas that the cooperation could address can all be covered in this section. Whatever the content, again, it must be clear and include all important aspects related to the drafting process, the research that's conducted, the consultations involved, and any possible compliance issues. Step four, the actual policy. Now, without a doubt, this is the heart of the framework and explains all of the rules that are to be put in place. As outlined earlier, the policy entails the commitment of leadership to achieve specific and generic steps, uh, targets. Step five, procedures. It's in this section that we address exactly how to achieve the task. Here, we must outline how the stakeholders can work together for achieving SDGs. Of course, we acknowledge it's very time intensive, but ultimately it allows for integrated and people-centered work. This part of the policy outlines a set of guidelines or rules as to how to make policies effective and recognizes the engagement of technicians beyond departments and even beyond your municipality. Um, we may also want to include an outline for an implementation plan here. Finally, Step six, policy evaluation and review. Now in this final section, we evaluate what we've done. Remember that the international agenda is a wonderful opportunity to show the work of cooperation as well as of the municipal services that help to achieve the SDGs. The evaluation suggests mechanisms for checking achievement and even amending the policy, as well as reporting and communicating on all the work done. 
This last part of the policy is important because it ensures that the policy remains relevant in an ever-dynamic and ever-changing socio-economic political context. Good luck with drafting your policy process.